In this short video, I will give you an overview, a, a summary of uh, the classical field theory of electricity and magnetism. And uh, I will start, the, the first four are the Maxwell's equations. The, 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 the divergence of the electric field is equal to the charge density divided by the constant. This is uh, um, this is uh, Gauss's law for electricity. And um, uh, a more familiar version of this, the one that we use uh, more often, the surface integral of E dot dA is equal to the charge enclosed over epsilon naught. Now, we also have Gauss's law for magnetism. And this one specifies that the divergence of the magnetic field is zero. There, like, there are no magnetic monopoles, no magnetic charges. Um, we don't, uh, this is this is an expression that we r really don't use very often. Um, and then we have Faraday's law. That specifies when you have a changing magnetic field, at the same time you have the presence of the non-Coulomb electric field. Now Faraday's law in this differential form specifies what is the curl of the electric field or how the, the, the curl of the electric field and the magnetic field are related. Um, if you want another way to write this would be if you move the magnetic field to the other side. Is equal to zero. So this is the relationship between the curl of the electric field and the time derivative of the magnetic field. Uh, this is Faraday's law. Again, a more um, a, a more common uh, expression. The the integral form of this uh, we've seen the induced EMF or the the path integral of the non Coulomb electric field dot dl is equal to minus d phi over dt minus the rate of change of the magnetic flux um, uh, over time. And we have the curl of the magnetic field is equal to mu naught times the current density. This is Ampere's law. Okay, if you stop here, if you stop here, this is Ampere's law. And we have used it um, in, in the form, the path integral of B dot L is equal to mu naught times the current enclosed. This is what this is telling us. Um, uh, in, in the integral form, you will have the closed path integral of B dot DL is equal to mu naught times the current enclosed. Now, uh, this is Ampere's law. Uh, Maxwell, though, saw that in with, with Faraday's law, you have the presence of an electric field when the magnetic field is changing as a function of time. So Maxwell proposed that um, something similar happens when you have a changing electric field. So he added this term to Ampere's law and now you have, now those two expressions are a little bit more symmetrical. They, here you have an electric field related to the time derivative of the magnetic field. And then here you have the time derivative of the electric field the, um, related to, to the magnetic field. So this was Maxwell's contribution and this is known as the Ampere Maxwell law. And you can write it in a way you can bring the electric field to the other side. I like this version 
um, this uh, uh, version, if I, let's, let's say this is equation one, this is equation two, three, and four. I like equations one through four. Um, I, I like to show these as Maxwell's equations. And the reason why I say that, on the left side, you have the electric field and the magnetic field or the curl, the divergence and the, their time derivatives. But on the right side, you have a charge density and other than constants, you have a charge density and the current density. And I, I like this version because it shows what is the origin of the electric field and the magnetic field. This is what creates okay, your the charge density and the current density is what gives rise to the electromagnetic field. This is the cause, this is the origin of those two fields. And that's why I like that they are separated, they are always on the right side and the electric fields, if you want the, um, the effect of the charge density and the current density is, um, is on the left side. Now, in addition to the relationships between uh, the electromagnetic fields and the current density and the charge density, we also need to know how the fields themselves affect the charges. And that is given by what we already know, um, the electric force QE and the magnetic force QV cross B. These are, if you take equations one through five, you have the entire classical field theory of electricity and magnetism. Um, one through four show you how charges and currents create the electromagnetic field. And equation five shows you how those fields affect charges um, via, via their force. So these are the four, uh, four Maxwell's equations and um, I, I will be also discussing, um, I will give you a summary of um, how we use these expressions.